Aqua is running away with this. The points are what he needs. He needs to keep going with it. 87 points. So many up for grabs here. The victory royale. Two more eliminations. Shots coming through here momentarily. This player trying to challenge for high ground, but I don't think they know who it is. Shots coming through. Janus going down. It's Scully. It's Aqua for the victory royale. Aqua dropping down. A lot of damage taken. A lot of damage down. Aqua, though, with the shotgun shot. Could have put it back in his favor, and he does. Eight eliminations. The victory royale there for Aqua. He does again. Now the grappler, if he needs to drop down to pop back up, you see him going for it. A lot of, no, not a lot of fall damage taken, but he does lose the high ground shot. Oh, no the grappler could come through. He could grapple into shotgun, and I think that's what he's going to do. Shotgun, shotgun to come through, yes. and he does. What a big shot from Eclipse Day to take the victory royale. Then Delex here, a champion in his own right. We're seeing champion versus champions all across the board. And look at that. Just waits, knowing that this player is going to try to get inside his box. Gives him the L dance. Hard find. No doubt it's going to have a hard time sitting in that lobby, knowing that he just got L dance on their monster. Obviously, only one of them left, but you never want to get their hands on here. He's trying to push his way through. He's made it ahead of those four or five other players in Lazy who are just sitting there. Going to maybe make his rotate, but he takes down Unknown. That is two titans of this game. We talk about aggressive players. Clicks, bit of a dance on them. They've got a history together. They've versed each other so many times. And man, Clicks taking down Unknown. He will not be happy about that one. And Janus is going to find himself back to the lobby now as Ping still the player who was in the zone here. You can hear the axes swinging, though. The layers are congested, using a harpoon now to break on through. He sees that player. He's going to wait for the shot, jumps on over, and treats him with the 100 pump right there. It's Amplify who's on height. The harpoon's so good for this situation. Not a lot of builds left for either of these players. And Queasy with the low ground peak finds Amplify, finds the mark. Six elimination, Sancho. He is looking to chop up, but someone as mechanically gifted as Benji can make these huge swings, these huge turnarounds. He knows better than be sitting on the back of the zone right now, but he's trying to make the big come up. He doesn't have any material. This is desperate zone. This is treacherous territory. Can he find something? He needs the impact elimination to keep him in the game. He's going to find it. It's on Snappy, the, the champion from squads here now. And this is what I mean. It's the caliber of player. It's the best of the best. And oh. Benji's going to find another one. Squeezes out Jachu from the lobby. And it's for Elon's top 10. More placement given out now. Loudest pew pew right now in the lobby. It's coming from high ground. Milan doing his best to protect himself. But that wall buster catches oh. Clement on the low. It's a 1v1 situation. Can the power of the pew pew up top destroy Milan on the low low. The low ground peaks are going to be a key factor here. Monster Zappy doing his best. Out comes the harpoon. It's part two again of the harpoon. It's time to shine. He has to hit the shot right here. Milan is going to whiff that first pump shot. A big one, but he hits the second one, making up for lost time here. Now using the stone so beautifully in the right hand peak. Textbook from Milan on the low ground peaks. And Snappy loses with the lead. He had it. All right, so now Fremok and Capture are going to jump in. It's a 1v1. It's all kind of clean and dandy here, but no shots are coming in from behind. The big pump shock and shot. He's going to take it. It's going to be successful. It is indeed, but he's keeping that pressure up. He's continuing to make that player go out of the full metal. Now into break, this is going to be even easier for him. As Walls and Peace Control trying to go over to Blackie is going to get both of those pieces and many going to go down. A very good play there from Blackie to get that elimination. I am loaded on loot. I am loaded on materials. There's going to be a ton of people here on the edge of the zone. Please leave. Ooh. Instead, catches a cheeky Elim on the fired. And very, very close. Too close for comfort there. Definitely look to see him maybe make more edits in his favor that time instead of in the minis at that time again it did pay off for him but one one issue like that could stem from another one and this is just gonna play a little bit of surprise trick we love seeing wow. these plays the bush surprise coming through all the way from season one way back in the day and cod genesis takes down nexi just like that yeah, he's got six eliminations on the board. A phenomenal start for him. So he's going to have very high points. He's got epic tack in hand. Sky's AR, but you can't count it out. Player on the low ground probably has something in the back pocket. Maybe has a few mats left as well, but solid shotgun shot could maybe end this. It's 100-100. It's a tall ass. Can he do it? Neon trying to push his way through. Takes the edits, but goes around and takes the high ground. Maybe he's lost his advantage here. Maybe we spoke too soon. The grappler coming out, but it being blocked off again. The 1v1 situation is breaking out. Neon trying to find his way up, trying to find any angle he can. He goes back around. 15 builds left to 
his name. Rapping, he's gone down to only 10 health and he does. He gets in on Mikey. 10 health is all he needed. He timed it to perfection, but Sundown, he brought that closer than what he thought he was going to. Mikey almost wins it. It's not a moving zone, but it feels just as tense because this is all about survival right now. Storm Surge might not be up, but the positions for a lot of people are slightly outdated. What a combination from Anas. So these players are looking really good. They have that advantage. They're already at the vertical limit for that mount, so they can just tarp straight across. These players I'm seeing down the bottom, like Zucky, like Knight, like Elise, Mega, they're going to need to make their rotate Durant. Trying to put some pressure in the sky, and that he does. Clicks also in this game, picking up elimination on Bank, and Durant gets straight in his box, so he gets two eliminations. Does he make a three, or does he go down? No, he makes a three. He picks up three eliminations. That one was on Neon, who was our leader after game one, so Neon going too aggressive here and going down. Going down, putting those layers in between is going to be able to stave off the pressure for now. But Hat continuing, Wing being into the box. Air not going to get taken. The peace control was just not there. This player continuing to escape for now, but no, Ooh. it's in the box. And that's Jaybird going down. And particularly because it's gone kind of not necessarily on the same axis, it's just given the player who had the most materials, which effectively has been Illis working the top down the advantage here. But now he's going to be forced to look back out in the storm. Does have the floppers to pick it up, but this zone is this an is... absolute nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare to find his way down here. Illus, four players alive. Someone dropping down in front of him too. Oh. Harpoon comes out trying to break them down. Illus only has one build left. That's it. He drops down. Goes all the way to the very bottom. Illus going down to four damage. The high ground ended up being his demise. He got a lot of points from it, but now Stowe has the high ground. Polarized. Assault having their fight down there. Assault goes down to Polarize. It's a 1v1 situation. Stowe has the rockets in hand. Can he make the play? He's trying to thread them down. He has 12 rockets in the legendary RPG. 25 builds. Three eliminations. Can he make it four? to close this one out. He gets knocked down. He goes down. Shotgun to shotgun in midair. He takes the shot on Polarized and closes this one out before he hits the ground. Four eliminations and high ground being the ultimate win condition. Ooh. And take advantage of players as Roller Ooh. is able to do right there. 31 tags pushing straight forward into the box and trying to clean up on the fight. Yeah, really good damage there. Opens up the fight with some heavy shots. Takes him down to White's. Oh, takes him out of the game. Shaz is out of here. SF Roller, the winner of week two, has put himself on the board nice and early. He wants to inch forward, you know, in a very slow, good, methodical pace. It's not so much more about popping off anymore, especially when we have another day of competition coming up very Ooh. soon. And I thought that was a heavy sniper. That was a quick acting silence sniper rifle Jeez. that just finds the head easily. Bizzle, accurate. These are two controller geniuses, right? Let's see who's gonna represent. Ken lies and prove the naysayers wrong now. The minigun. Pressure's real, Sancho. Pressure's real. The minigun is raining fire down. Lots of bullets coming in. Ratatatting through. Doing his best to get in. You're Ooh. seeing the high-level box play. Oh Gets right there. Got the big tag there, Monster. He's pushing through now. Going for the final kill. Elimination right there. Lies and gets it with four-pointer. All of a sudden, he's down to 3 HP, needs to hop into a box, shots coming through with the harpoon, but not going to be able to get him in when he needs to. Another shotgun shot going to connect, but he doesn't have the HP to really mess around with. No shots way. He finally is going to cast Jack out. And he needed that so bad. Cast is going to fall right there. Remember, he had no HP before that. Gives him a couple more ticks here to sit in the zone. He even uses the harpoon to kind of break on through. What's he going to do here? He has a couple options still. Remember, this harpoon can crack through any of the wood in any single kind of shot if he really had to. The, the minis you see playing a part, though, keep him alive just a little longer as he's fighting uh, Mega here in a box fight. Fired is coming out the zone. Bank is also coming out the zone. Everyone just all kind of boxed up trying to see if they can get to safety and finally it's gonna pull over the land I see the grappler there now Avery's gonna find another one with a quick flick as fired falls here and suddenly Avery is back in the competition Zay going in he doesn't care Zay just going aggressive he wants to get this injury out he is not just gonna sit around and let it fall into his lap the shots coming on through nut dropping down trying to track Zay but Zay not gonna allow that to happen mini is gonna be popped he does have a big shield but timing not going to happen. One build remaining here for Net. And this is where he realizes he's going to have to make a play. Drop down coming Ooh. through. Zay hiding in the field. Ooh. So it's Zay going to get Come the victory game. royale there. He went from hell dancing on the lobby to picking up the win. But Mini gets pulled straight back to the rest of the map once again. Cannot focus on the storm. Has to now move up. A good position for shots earlier on, but now no more left. Frey goes Ooh. down. The back-to-back -back spray is there. It's Milan that gets taken out. Too many moving forward with every single 
a bit available item in its, in its inventory right now, and he's just still moving. No chance for stopping right now, looking for the next shot. Six builds available. It has to oh. be shots connecting, and it's ZQ that gets taken out. Another oh. one placed on a tear. Mini is in. unstoppable and full health. No floppers, though. Got it.